called SPA. Or as again, I said, single page application. This is an application, this is a web page whereby everything is on the first page, on the index page, on the home page. That is, on the home page, you can get the click of a button scrolls down to the about us, the click of a button scroll down, scrolls down to contact us. Everything just on the first page, everything just on one page. So that's what we're going to be creating today. But this time around, we're going to be creating it using GSP for server side and we're going to make it asynchronous. That means without refreshing the page, all of our database work should be performed. So we're going to be using AJAX for that. AJAX stands for asynchronous JavaScript and XML. So the essence of JavaScript is this. When I want to perform CRUD, which are the major data manipulation operations, AJAX should be able to perform CRUD without refreshing the page. So this would be a five page, five series tutorial. What is first tutorial, which is the introduction, we just set up our environment. We'll move over to the insert, which is the C. Move then from the C, we'll read it, we we'll update it, and we we'll delete it. So let's get on. Let's start our work. So the first thing we will need NetBeans. Also, we will need a, a web server. I, for one, I'll be using ZAMP. But you're free to use whatever you want to use as far as the web server. Also, I'll be using ZAMP for this in for this demonstration. Uh, can I try and turn on my ZAMP now? Okay, what is coming on? I'm going to start a new project. Um, let's start and start. All right, then I start a new project. I call it a, a SPA Java. A Java, yeah, we want a Java web now. So web application, we're going to call it SPA GSP. That's what we're going to call it. That has a single page application, Java server pages. All right, so next. I'll be using Glassfish, you can use Stomcat, you can use whatever you feel like using, that doesn't really matter. Next, the, we're not using the framework, so we'll just finish it up here. Then we'll set up our environment by getting in our the full structure, how we want it to be. So first of all, uh, this is what we just created. So I'm going to delete this first. Uh, index I didn't need this so delete this and right away I'll create an index to GSP a GSP page called index alright also I'll create all the folders one for CSS to paste in our CSS files one to paste in our JavaScript files one to paste in our GSP files, all right. One for images, one folder for images, call it IMG, and what else? Since we just a single page, we need more than this. And also, we'll be creating a package, a new Java package. We're going to call it model. So we're taking our database section model and also for the servlets we're going to be using we're going to create a package to put them into it it's a servlet all right so in your css what you do on your own part is look out for I'm working offline so i'm going to get this file offline uh try to get uh for the css you try and get bootstrap and font awesome 
So if I come here, I see bootstrap. This is my bootstrap and this is my font also. So I take these two files and I take them over to my CSS. You can download this online or you can work online. Doesn't really matter. I prefer working offline. So I bought all these files that download free. You can download it free. Now for my GS files I will need jQuery and Bootstrap as well. I'll take this two, copy and paste them. Also, for the font also to properly work, I will need a web font. So I'll take this, copy and paste it right here. Alright, we're almost there. Then finally, I will create a file called style. CSS file called style. Alright, um, what else is there? The CSS which called style. Uh, I think that's about all. But images, I still need some images. So let's see what if I have an image here. Good. I want this, I want this, I want this, 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 this. Copy them. And what I can do is I can put all these images on my link below so you can download them as you download the video. Alright, so we set, we're we'll good to go. So the first thing we're going to do now is set our page to actually do what we want. So I'm going to call it in CESPA, placing our links L I N K H R E F. Uh, this time around, I want CSS stash bootstrap. Why do not bring it out for me? Bootstrap and CSS where equals stash. All right, um, what else? So, introduce the font awesome as well. So, CSS slash all the CSS. Yep, well, style sheet. Then finally we introduce a new file we just created where we're placing our own styling. So CSS slash star, sorry, star dot CSS. As usual, relation where it stands for relationship. So that's the relationship we have with this page that is the star shit. Alright, then furthermore, I like placing my my jQuery at the bottom. Is it believe that when you place at the bottom it loads faster? So first of all, introduce the boots the jQuery. You must introduce your jQuery for the bootstrap. It's not it won't work. Uh, what is it happening now? Yes. jQuery. jQuery. Yes. Uh, so script. Uh, final script src js slash uh, bootstrap beautiful now script as well sorry scripts all right so let's just make sure it's working first so run the application run the application and let's see what it gives us you you can tell if the page has bootstrap the way the way the page displayed on the browser, you can tell if actually is using Bootstrap. So let's see what it displays for us. And we can now see if actually what we have in all the links are correct. While well, links are correct, we'll end with this video, and in the next video will be in settings. So let's just see what happens first. And also, why are you looking to this? This is a normal. I'm using NetBeans because it actually does most of the work for you. Why would I want to go to the stress? You can use Eclipse, you can use um, IntelliJ or whatever framework or whatever it ID you want to use. But I prefer NetBeans. It makes life easy for me. So I'm still not just to waste time. Make sure it's still running, it's wasting, running and running and running. So while that is going on, let's make sure we look at it very well. Uh, links are correct, uh, script is correct. Uh, I also need a script for my JavaScript, for my, sorry. On my Ajax, so let me just put it here since it's taking forever. Script, all right, uh, and that should be all. Uh, I don't have this time taken. 
You were taking me too much time. You were taking me too much time. I really want you to entertain. Alright, so I passed it to like go through the process, and this is what it showed. Hello world. If you open your page source, you can find out if your links are correct. All my links seem to be correct. Uh, so with that, we can end this video. Alright, I see you in the next one about talking about the inserts. Alright, if you like this, please recommend and subscribe. Thank you for watching.